I'm here with Chris Winkleman. How are you doing, Hi. Chris? Chris, uh, you know, you're Babe's wife, but you have your own part of the show that you do. And uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, I do a cooking segment at the end of each show. And I try to do, if Babe's catching a pike, I do uh, northern pike for a recipe. Or if he's shooting caribou, I do a caribou recipe after the show. And what I do, I like to do with my show is keep it pretty simple, the ingredients, keep it simple, um, ingredients that people have on hand, mm -hmm. and giving them some helpful hints. Right. I mean, uh, so are these your recipes, your personal recipes Absolutely. that you do? Absolutely. Absolutely. I have a lot of guys that play pool with me, and they all try my recipes. They look good. I mean, I watch them on TV, and I, I tell my wife, I'm like, can you do that? Can you do what she just did? And, and then she goes, uh, well, she gives her a try. She is a good cook, though, because I bring home a lot of wild game myself, mm -hmm. and from elk and deer to, to all the fish. And, and you know, it, it's just experimenting with it. You kind of have to experiment the, with the food to your liking, right? You, you really do. You know, that's the problem that I find with a lot of the viewers is the fact that they don't, they get intimidated mm -hmm. with, with the wild game when the husband or when they even bring it home themselves. What do I do with it now that I've got it? Mm -hmm. And they don't know how to prepare it once they have it. I mean, one of the shows that I did was I held up a pheasant and it still had the leg hanging off and a couple of feathers and it was just right. all shot up. Right. And said, have you ever, has your husband ever brought something like this home to you? Mm -hmm. And I had so many people respond off of that because of the fact, I mean, I started from the basics, you know, breast it and, you know, right. started with stock and everything else. So it was, the helpful hints is what people really like. Right. Chris, um, you know, <clears throat> Babe was talking to us about, he's really excited about oh. this. He really is. And, and, and I am too, because, you know, he, I, I didn't really, it didn't connect that he was the, the food saver, mm -hmm. you know, yep. that he was the one that brought that to light, right. year, you know, years ago. But now he's really excited about this. Could you tell me, he, he did a little bit of a demonstration here. We, we, we used this. We talked about, you know, it being charged up. And Eddie, he, he sucked up some salmon, shot the juice up <laughs> all over the table. <laughs> but, that you know, that's a typical, he, he, typical guy. It's a typical guy thing. Yeah, a typical guy that. thing. We don't care, though. <laughs> but uh, tell us a little bit about what you think about it and, and what women are going to use this for in the kitchen besides maybe wild game or or you know fish. I mean, is there other applications oh, that they can use this for? There, there's so many, but let me let me start with the base on something like this and make it. I mean, this is easy. Uh huh. And not just that. When it comes to the bags, this is what I like is I can freeze it. If I you know, because I make a lot of soups and stews and chowders and things right. like that that I send with the crew and babe on location. So that now it's frozen. I can take the bag, or babe can take the bag, or the crew members can take the bag and put it right into boiling water and they've got a hot soup right. that I made, not bait. Right, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's edible. <laughs> yeah, uh, there you go. And then also what I'm finding in the kitchen as well is marinating in these bags. I mean, you take take marinade, any kind of a marinade, and it helps get it into the meat.